We're going on a boat. We're going on a boat. We've gotten as many people as we've as we've been able to to help Syria, Cyrilla. Why do I keep calling her Syria? Jesus, Cyrilla. God, I'm awful. So now that we know where she is and we have people to help us out, we're going to go pick her up. Okay, all right. Enough with the sliding and the whatever. Just get on the freaking horse. I don't think he's kidding. We're going to try to get Siri. Siri, I'm going to stop. Siri. There we go. We're going to try to get Siri from whatever it is that's kept her. Ian. What's this? Oh. Into the Isle of Mists. And as I've said before, it's not the Skellige Isles for no apparent reason. They are Isles, after all. Now I'm kind of nervous. I was trying to live stream using the Elgato device last night. It's funny how nothing works for me. It's like amazing. I wanted to use OBS and that kind of gets screwy. So I decided to just use the Elgato device and now that's... Oh, guard treasure. Faster. I don't know. Do I want guard treasure? I don't think I want it. Anyway, maybe I should do one treasure hunt just so you can see what it looks like. But anyway. Oh, there's another Cyclops. Come on, go. So I wanted to do a live stream last night with my Elgato device and I kept getting an, an internal error, which I, I love those internal. No, internal errors are great, aren't they? Like, whenever you're doing something computer-related and you see internal error pop up, don't you just feel warm and fuzzy inside? So I decided then to go to <laughs> option C. Well, really, OBS runs off of the Elgato device. So either way, it's the Elgato device. But I went with the, uh, the last option, which was to just stream off of my PS4. And I'll tell you, the setup is really good. I mean, nobody watched, but even so, the setup is really good. Run, Roach. We're going to get to the Isle of Mists, and you're going to notice something rather strange about the Isle of Mists. Oh, no. It's kind of conveniently strange. And somebody might look at it and go, oh, God. Now, I'm not going to say anything, really. But I am going to point out that there was a whole thing involving Kira Metz where she talked about you can go now why can't I move um yeah I'm on a boat why the fuck is it not moving Come on. Can't you just put your hands up on the goddamn platform here on the dock and just fucking get on the goddamn boat? Um. What the fuck? Can you move at all? Yeah, I know. Can you put in the update the boat doesn't move for some strange reason? What the fuck? Are you fucking serious? Get under the water! Alright, you know what? Never mind. Never mind. Okay? I have to spin around. God almighty. Why would you put a boat there? Anyway, as I was saying, so the setup on the PS4 stream is really good. And I might get the PlayStation camera. 
I don't know where I would put it though. I can't put it on my TV. My T is a very TV is a very flat screen television. So I can't put it on there, but I might just do that. I, I, I got to get a better mic for this thing. The mic is kind of crappy. Maybe I should put it closer to my mouth, but even so, it's still kind of crappy. But you get like your own little sidebar with your picture and everything that posts up on the, on the stream. And you get like, it tells you who's watching and shit. It's really good. I mean, I got to get rid of that message that says I need to hit the share button. The only problem with that one, too, is if I am playing a game where they have to block out certain things for content. Like, for instance, if I were live streaming Arkham Knight, there's a whole section, a whole section of the end where it's blocked out from streams. So it's towards the end of the game between when Batman, if you've seen mine or anyone else's, Batman goes to this facility or this factory or warehouse whatever you want to call it to meet up with scarecrow who then says that he needs to put his utility belt on the te desk and then go into the truck which is to his right he goes to the truck then there's a whole dream sequence with the joker and everything like all there's all this stuff going on and it blocks it all out so if i were to stream that it would be blocking out that whole scene so if i'm streaming arkham knight and you want to watch the end well, tough shit, because you're not going to see it. I mean, I'll see it on my on my playthrough, my not live playthrough, my recorded playthrough, but you're not going to see it on the stream if I were to stream it, which I'm not going to. Which makes me wonder if I should stream. Now, you know what? What I think I'm going to do, I was thinking of streaming the whole, the new DLC that if you had the season pass, you would have had already. I was thinking of streaming that, but if I do end up getting it for Arkham Knight, I might just play through it. I might do like four videos a day. Where... Because I want to get this one done. I'm the kind of pro I like new things. And this game is... I don't want to say it's not good. I mean, it's a good game. It's just, like I said, it's it's getting old for me. I want to get into... Well, first I want to trade in my Xbox 360, which is doing nothing but taking up space. And then I want to get into playing Dark Souls 2 again. Especially with Dark Souls 3 coming out in the next few months. Which, at this point, I'm still trying to figure out exactly how they were able to pull that one off. What the hell? Come on, go! Yeah, this spot again. I mean, I have to turn back around and go the other way. I was thinking of swimming the whole way, but... I had to do that one time because I... My boat just shattered because the... Are you going to go the direction I want you to go, please? Like, I'm trying to go the... Let's go backwards. God almighty. Will you please? This takes the longest amount of time is getting to this fucking island. Oh, blow me. All right, I barely even hit that. Now I gotta deal with these sirens. This is like Fat All, where you have to go all the way around and go all the way back. It's, it's fucking irritating. Especially when you got these stupid ass sirens chomping away at your fucking boat. Get out of here. Yeah, I'm going to try the Elgato straight up again, because I like the sound of the mic better. If 
for my live stream. But I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll stick with the PS4. I also have it on the Xbox One. I've told people, like, they've asked me what console they would prefer. Now, if the Wii U would ever release a game, it would definitely be the Wii U. But considering the Wii U is so still sort of like one generation behind, kind of, nobody's making games for the, the Wii U. So Nintendo is barely even making games for the Wii U. So out of the PS4 and Xbox One, I would say that if you're more into simply playing games, you have to go with the PS4. But if you're into watching TV and easily streaming through different types of applications and whatever, yeah, I would go with the Xbox One. The Xbox One is like an entertainment center in a console, whereas the PS4 is a gaming console. So that's why I would go with the, the PS4 for gaming purposes. I like the Xbox One. I think it's an okay console. I mean, the graphics are pretty much the same. I don't see any difference at all from the games I've played on both. But, I mean, then again, the Xbox One, I've only played games that were multi... Well, no, I didn't. I played um, Lords of the Fallen on it, and that was a new-gen exclusive. That was, like, one of the first premier new-gen exclusives. So... I would say that the graphics are pretty much the same. I don't see any difference. I really don't see that much of a difference in graphical prowess between the old gen consoles and these consoles like there really is not that big a difference i do think that the new gen consoles hold a lot more data like you can have more of these witcher 3 games that are highly detailed and maybe the the coloring is a little bit more realistic it's not so bright but you can have like all of these deeply diverse role-playing games on the new gen consoles with a bunch of different side quests popping out in your face and everything like it seems as though the the new gen console games are doing the work in terms of artificial intelligence characters not playable characters and what have you and i mean the frame rates now oh look frame rate you know i, mean, I don't fucking care about that really but when it comes to the games the games get held back so often and they have so many motherfucking bugs and not only do they have so many bugs, but it's like it takes forever to download an update. It's ridiculous. A seven and a half gig update. Games weren't seven gigs just like four years ago. I mean, if you downloaded a game, like a last gen game, like the, the first Tomb Raider, you know, the reboot Tomb Raider. I think overall that game would probably be about 12 gigs or something like that. Maybe. And that's pushing it, man. That is absolutely pushing it. That was a pretty big game, too, if you went through all the tombs. Seven and a half gig update? God. When I was a kid, your fucking hard drive wasn't seven gigs. And forget like, Mortal Kombat 10. That motherfucking thing gets updated every five minutes. And not only does it get updated, but it's always like a three gig update. It takes like ten minutes. It's such a bitch. And on top of that, you have to download, you have to install your games to the console itself. So if you have, I mean, I have a 500 gig hard drive and I don't plan on using anything more than video game information downloads. So it's to me not a big deal, but if you want to put like movies on here and you want to download shit from the, the computer, the internet, I mean, you'll be in deep crap. Because you're going to be running out of space big time. I'm going to sink, by the way, unless she goes to the middle. If she goes for anything at all. Well, that's a nice little bug right there. I mean, I could stop. I can get off the helm and then swipe at this bitch. But now she's going to pull that off. Go ahead. I'll swim the rest of the way. I don't give a shit. It's not like this boat's that much of a difference. It's like the horse in Elder Scrolls. See what I'm saying? Like, even after all the updates, this fucking thing still is not doing what it's supposed to be doing, which is pulling the boat. Now, I'm not complaining. I'm just pointing out that this video game is supposed to be new gen and all this shit, and it's like you can't even get a decent reaction from these goddamn creatures 
even after all the updates. The heavy duty 7.5 gig update. The other updates were about a gig or more. I mean, even be that as it may, I'm still at like 200 gigs. I'm doing all right. And whenever I sell the game, you know, I, which I do a lot, I trade games in all the time. Whenever I do that, I, I delete it from the hard drive, so I don't have to worry about it. I'm always trading in games. You have to trade in games. When you're a broke-ass motherfucker like me, and you're trying to play through and review games for somewhat of an audience, you're going to have to find ways to cut corners and shit. I mean, she seems like she's influencing the trajectory of my boat, but even so. I'm not doing much. Now we're getting closer to the aisle. We just got to find a way to, to dock this. Undvik. I'm back on Undvik. I thought I was going to the Isle of Mist. Well, I wonder where the Isle of Mists is. Oh, where the mist is. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we'll just go to the Isle of where the mist is. And that'll be the Isle of Mists. This siren is still flapping her fucking bat-like wings in my face. Oh, you winged shoof. So within the mist... And there are more sirens. And this one's gonna rip at that. Eventually. That this bit this baby is going down. And these are all level 13. So I could easily destroy these things. And there we go, we're sinking. Okay, I'd like to thank you little fucking bitches for fucking pulling my boat apart. So just to show you how grateful I am. I'm gonna fucking shoot the shit out of you. There's one. Come on. Shoot. Three. Four. I'll do this before I run out of air. Hey, you can't use your sword down here, so this is the only way you can go about it. And there we are. Could you imagine that siren is still chomping at that thing? I have to find a place. No, 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 no. There is no way you're going to make me turn all the way back around just to get on the boat. That's not what's going to happen. I'm just telling you that flat out. That's not what's going to happen. Like, if you're going to ask me, hey, what's going to happen next? The one thing I'm never going to tell you is that I turned all the way around and I swam that distance just to get another goddamn boat and do all that all over again. It's just not going to happen. You can suck a cock for all I care because that's just not going to happen. Now how the fuck do I get on this shithole? Because if it were the, for the, weren't for the sake of this being so fucking difficult to find a spot to dock, I wouldn't have been in this goddamn situation. Oh, come on, just climb up! Ay, ay, ay. And how can you waste the most amount of time? You know what I can do now? I'll tell you what I can do now. I could fucking go Hulk on everybody right now. Yo, you're not prompting me to go back and get a boat. Fuck you. Show me how to fucking get on this goddamn island. Can you imagine that shit? Like, this is the big challenge, is finding a boat and getting on. Can you just get in the goddamn deep end of the water so I can fucking swim at least? Thank you. Holy shit. This is a game I like, too, by the way. There we go. Looks like I'm on the island myself here. Oh, 
Oh, look, we get level 18 drowners. I love when they're alive when they're, like, not. You know, when their health meter is completely depleted to nothing? Oh, here we go with the fucking... Three fucking swipe hit bullshit. Get the fuck out of here with your 20 fucking lunges. Fucking little shitbag. Yeah, you're dead too, bro. Alright, yeah, okay. Like, these guys do no damage, but just the amount of swipes that they get off is ridiculous enough to do damage. Guys, is this not the fucking island? This is the island, isn't it? Come on, let me fucking see something. Could be that. I mean, I can't tell because you're fucking blotting it out, making me get another goddamn boat. Here, you want a boat? Here, okay? Fucking get a boat, alright? Fucking ridiculous. You can't improvise? Alright, you didn't get a boat. You had one and it got sunk. Well, just figure out how to swim there or something. Horse, I swear. You know, this is crap, okay? I'm sorry. This is crap that you're going to waste this much time just getting a boat. Move it. I mean, fuck off, really. Like, real? I got to go through all this just to get a goddamn boat? If I need a boat to traverse to the next portion of the game, why don't you just fucking make one a little bit more convenient to get? Then I have to go all the way around this island of mountainous fucking rocky goddamn roads and find another goddamn boat somewhere. Why don't I take that boat? That was nice, right? Oh yeah, I never figured out what to do with this guy. <sighs> Dude, just duck! God! I'm playing this game for five minutes today and I'm already fucking pissed off. No, uh, I don't care about giant footprints right now, okay? I slaughtered that bastard. Slaughtered him real good. Well, this is Unvik, so I'm thinking this is not the Isle of Mist, because if it is, I would have found Siri like a year ago. Can I ever go, like, the short way? No, right? I gotta go the fucking long ass trudging through water. Will you just please get on land? Wait, you swim when you're closer to the fucking... Why can't I do that now? Get on the boat! Okay, I'm on a boat. What now? Thank you. Where is this thing? I was so close. This was the boat that I had. See, now that is probably something that the advanced hardware could... could be held responsible for. The fact that not only is the boat still here that I had from... when I first came to this area. Can you please spin around? Holy Christ, bro! Not only do I still have the boat from the last time that I was here, but it's in the same exact condition. 
Son, you got a condition. Don't hit anything. And you hit something. Very nice, you stupid fuck. God, will you just keep these things away? Alright, well, you see that big tower over there that looks like a lighthouse? That's a key to what we're doing. That's all I'm going to tell you about that. Jesus Christ, it's been half, half an hour. I'm still not on this fucking place. So this is, like, ridiculous. Like, I want to move on with this fucking game, and instead it's just, like, wasting time trying to find a boat. And not really a good boat, either. I mean, the condition of this thing... Leaves a lot to be desired. I mean, it's one decent feature that it's not like, oh, your boat's a little wrecked, now it's going to waddle all over the place. Again, it's called the Isle of Mists for a reason. But once we get through this little overpass or this rocky passageway. Yep. Then we get that, because we're nearing an area of the game. Yep. And we get the message, and we get the glitch. Mod on. They still haven't fixed that. <laughs> All these updates and they haven't fixed that. The curse that held him up proved hard to lift, but Yennefer... Well, we know what this storyline's about. The ugliest man alive revealed... We turned Uma back into Avlach, which is who he was originally. Avlach, for this... And now he gave us that... I don't even know what that's called, a wisp? Siri, lead the hunt. Some kind of spiritual wisp or something? To lead the way into the Isle of Mists. But of course, it's not going to be, we're on the aisle. Oh, there she is. There's a reason why that little, that little ball of light is required. And if you remember the witness of Craven, you would recall that Avalok put Siri to sleep and did something with a jar. Well, there you go. Or a bottle. Like one of those Legend of Zelda... Now, that's one thing I do have to say. Even though my boat was a wreck, now it's in 100% high-quality condition. Son, you got a condition. I'll follow the little wisp. Well, as I've said, it's not like, oh, yeah, it's going to take us to where she is and she's a little sleepy. No, 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 no. no. It's not going to be anywhere near that simple. I mean, I guess you kind of needed your boat to be back to 100%. And here we go. More fucking flying, boat-eating, or destroying bitches. You know what I don't understand in some of these games? Why is it that things you have to follow can't go in a straight goddamn line? Why do they have to keep doing all these weird bends and curves? Anyway... Once we get on land, I'm going to fucking fry all of you. It's like light. Just go where you got to go and call it a day, man. Up oh, and there's the dock. Oh, you want some? You want some, you little bitch? Eh? Get off my boat. So much for that head you had. Cunt. No, thank you. All right, now we can't fast travel back. We can't do any side quests. We're just going to be doing this right now. That's what that message was about. And we could grab some bloodness. Or bloodiness. It's blood moss, but I like to call it bloodiness. Foglets! 
If you want, you can oil your thing down with some... Oil your sword down, that is. With some necrophage oil. Because there are foglets everywhere. After all, it is the Isle of Mists, and foglets live in the mists. We're gonna follow this thing. Remember how we're getting here. Nice big hill, right? Oh, look at that, a little cottage. I'll look inside. This is where it's taking us. Open up, goddamn you! Locked. Anybody in there? Damn. Hello. I'm not gonna hurt you. Open up. Oh, you blew a fucking cover. Who are you? What do you want? I'm your daddy. I'm Geralt, a witcher. Go away! Looking for a young woman. Ashen hair, scar on her face. Will you let me in? No. How many of you are in there? Why do you need to know? You take our bloody senses. Mind my mum's beard. Get yourselves together, lads. You there, outside the door. Geralt, that right? Yeah, Geralt. Listen, Geralt. Let's cut to the thick of it. We survived a shipwreck recently. Beasts from the depths ate some of my lads, and the rest of us found shelter here. Not too special, that, as dangers litter this isle, but it does go to explain why we're a wee bit distrustful. No way you can get to this isle conventionally. Crikey, you call a shipwreck conventional? Leave it me, mate. You know what he means. <coughs> Let me explain. A short while past, we were on route from Skellige to Novigrad. And Ferenc got talking with the captain. He sold him a magic firefly for Potty to know the way to a hidden treasure. Got nothing to fear from me. Said the fox to the gaggling beast. I've lost too many mates already. I won't risk it. I can't. Say I find your mates. Will you believe I mean no harm? Aye, but I'm not counting either. I mean, too easy. How many are there? Three. Ivo, Gaspar, and Ferenc. This Ivo. Where do I look? Edric insisted he'd explore the caves to the east. Tried to knock it out his head. Literally. Bugger would budge. Gaspard. Where will I find him? He said it was defeatist to sit and wait to be rescued. We had to take action, or at least he did. Plato spotted a lantern out to sea, so he said he'd climb the highest peak to look out for a ship. Where'd Ferenc go? West, in search of a ship that's said to be out there. Ferenc, he's uh, handy. Thought I might fix it up, make you see one thing. All right. See if I can't find all three. See ya. I'm content to understand. Uh, we have to find people. Let's go with the closest one first, which is right here. Now, I'm not sure if you noticed, but one of the guys I was talking to you kept sneezing. That's all I've got to say. For now. Oh! Yeah, harpies are nothing. But there are just so many of them. Alright, fucking take it easy. I mean, it's best to use Ard. Because Aird, I would have liked to have gone after the one that I tacked before, but I guess not. Aird will knock him out of the air. Can you? There we go. 
Huh, I don't even know how I hit that. Just trying to get you out of the goddamn sky. Alright, so anyway. Now there are some rare plants. Nothing major. Let's find the first of these individuals. This one's pretty funny. Um, what you love when it looks like it's right there and it turns out to be 20 miles away? I'll get on my horse, don't worry. Just not right now. Water hag! Or something hag. I forgot I'm in level 25, they're 21. A man! Ha, am I ever pleased to see you? I talked to your friends. Come down. Right. I'm coming. You lucky devil, you. You know, I've one regret that. Oh, ah, ah! Dead. Damn. Now, in case you're wondering, he didn't pull a homer where... Oh, yeah, I can't get my horse here. All right, we're going on foot. He didn't pull a homer where he put together a mannequin that looked just like him so he could pretend that he died. He really died. Nice waste, right? Went all that way just so the guy could fall off a cliff. Hey, did you notice he's a dwarf? I'm just saying. Here's the other one. This one is the most irritating of the bunch. And you will see why. They say below, but I'm pretty sure he's above. In fact, I'm almost positive. <laughs> yep, there he is. See, they said below, and there he is. Take all that. Hey, wake up. Shoo. Back to bed, Nibbles. Wake up. Wh what's happening? Who, who are you? I'm Geralt. You and your friends. What's your story? Rabinick and Company. Real estate appraisal, insurance, mass event organization. Gaspard Sutter. My mates call me sleepy. I even slept through that storm. It's a shame so many died. There you go, folks. You got a sneezy and a sleepy. Any chance you've seen an ashen-haired woman around here? Here? Nay, not a soul. But ooh, a lot passes me by on account of my sleeping. Your friends asked me to find you, Ferenc, and Ivo. I'm afeard they're dead. Some horror swarmed Ivo saw it with my own eyes. And Ferenc, I heard him. A blood-curdling cry, then the roar of a beast. Let's get back to the hut. I'll protect you along the way. Shame about the lads, really, but what can you do? Come on. But I should warn you, I suffer from narcolepsy, meaning... That... I know what it means. Don't worry, I'll keep you awake. Uh, off we go then. It's what you think. The guy falls asleep while you're trying to bring him back to the hut. Constantly. So be prepared to keep waking him up every time something happens. Now if you want, you can try to find the other guy. <clears throat> before you head back. But, I'd rather take this guy to the hut because... I'd rather take him to the hut, since it will get very annoying to be doing this all throughout. Oh, go fuck your mom. And in case you're wondering, he is sleeping right now. 
There he is. Okay. Come on. Now he's going to fall asleep. See? There he goes. Come on, get up. Oh, nibbles, you's a naughty kitty, aren't you? <laughs> All right, I'm up. So you got to keep doing that. Know much about this isle? Almost nothing. You know, it, it ain't on my map. A common characteristic of enchanted islands. You think it's enchanted? It's the one thing I'm sure of. I should be picking these herbs, but I'm not. Also, another reason why you'd want to go to the hut first is it's more on the way. Well, I want to get some blow ball. Ball shack. So if you go to the hut first, uh, he's still good. He's. If you go to the hut first, then it'll be a straight shot and be a straight shot back to the other guy. Come on, get up. Oh, nipples, you're a naughty kitty, aren't you? Look, dude, I don't care about your fantasies. Pick it up. Come on. Come on, let's go. Get your ass up, pal. There we are. So, what is it brought you to this strange place? Looking for someone. H here? Mm hmm Just kind of turned out that way. Oh, we're right here. Come on, pick it up. Talking about it, are you? Not really. This place seems safe enough. Just be sure and come back. And make it quick, eh? Not that much to see here. Now then, last guy. Nope, don't do that. Well, let me meditate for a sec. I don't think I can, though. No, I can't. Okay. Oh, okay, I did anyway. I was trying to get my health revived. Again, if you want Necrophage Oil, will do the trick here, but I don't feel like it. Yeah, if you're burning, it's going to be hard for you to hide. Oh! Anything that could vanish or attack from the mists is an irritation to me. Because it's like, you can't just lock on to them and beat the crap out of them. You gotta keep finding them, find them in the middle, find them, where, where, where'd he go? Oh, he went that, you know, it's like, it's so irritating. Now we gotta find this guy. And stubby oh. legs, two One of the missing dwarves. Shame he's dead. And we've been caught by a fiend. Ouch. Now, as you can see, fiends do recover. God. Come on, move. Things healing. Oh yeah, yeah, with that shit. Like, do I have to be dazed after it happened? I got it. Okay, I got hit. Nice. Move, dude. Okay, enough. God. Yeah, burn, motherfucker. Good thing fire is your weakness, because it's my strength. There we go. Fiend is dead. We found all three dwarves. 
Now I guess we're gonna go speak to the leader, which might be Doc. I don't know. Would it be Doc? Would they call him that? He's not mispronouncing his words. I mean, there is a grumpy, right? They don't really come out and say, hey, I'm the one they call, you know, bashful or whatever. You know, they don't, they don't do that, but you get the reference. Brought you your friend. Ah, uh, sure. Let's hear him then. Wake up. Uh, I'm awake. <laughs> Gaspard, stand back. I'm opening the door. I don't know what kind of business you could have done. Ha, you seem a bit muddled. Uh, muddled. A bit drowsy, that's all. What of the others? Found one near a monster's den. He was already dead, sadly. Saw another fall from a cliff. Broke his neck. Shit. Roderick told me to have an eye on the snot. Twas his nephew. Thanks for helping. And, uh, sorry I didn't trust you. Oh, everything's gone wrong. What'll we do now? Got a boat. You can leave with me, but I need to find someone first. An ashen-haired lass? Yes. Oh, dreadful, sorry. What do you mean? She's cold. Spirits left her. Must have passed shortly before we found her. Let's wait by the boat. Well, isn't that just great? All that trouble for nothing. You better not have taken advantage of her while she was asleep. Guess not all of Vesemir's teachings have receded into oblivion. A witcher can forget to eat, to drink, to breathe even. But a witcher never, ever forgets to care for his blade. <laughs> ah, yeah, I used to repeat that incessantly. Never tired of doing it either. 
What creature was it? Huh? Creature? One that gave you the scar over your left eye. It's new. I don't remember it. Souvenir from the Cockatrice of Spala. Another addition to the collection. Nothing special. Yours has healed beautifully, though. Avalach. He prepared some special ointments for me. But that was before the curse gripped him. I wonder where he is now. We lifted the curse. He's at Kaer Morhen, waiting for you. Are you serious? You must be. You'd not jest about something like that. <laughs> A nice thing to wake up to. You trust him? Avalog? He's not let me down to date. Not once. Really, huh? Why exactly is Avalok helping you? Sages have never been fond of humans. Well, he doesn't do it for me. It's about my power. As if it could ever be about anything else. Avalok tried to teach me how to control my ability. He was also making sure I didn't fall into Eridan's hands. What's Eridan after? What's he want from you? What everyone wants. Control of my powers. His homeworld faces annihilation. Eridan's decided to invade ours. Brilliant, wouldn't you say? Can't achieve much on his own, so he needs to bring an army. Except his navigators can't possibly move him and thousands of NL between planes. Their abilities won't allow it. Whereas yours will. Exactly. And if I die in the process? Well, that's a necessary sacrifice. How do you ever start traveling with Avalach? As soon as I had left you and Yen on the Isle of Avalon, I found myself pursued. Eridin and his Red Riders were on my heels. I fled through many worlds, many times. They came very close to catching me once. It was then that Avalach appeared. Out of nowhere, he found a portal and took us to a world where Eridin couldn't find us for, oh, perhaps half a year. The world where Eridin couldn't find you, what was it like? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. People there had metal in their heads. Waged war from a distance. Using things similar to megascopes. And there were no horses. Everyone had their own flying ship instead. Siri, stop fooling around. Told you you wouldn't believe me. <sighs> we should have stayed there. So why'd you return? I thought the hunt had lost my scent for good. I thought I was safe. Besides, I... I wanted to find you. You and Yennefer. You were looking for us. We were looking for you. Times I thought you were just a step away. Other times, felt like I was going around in circles. I'm not surprised. There were times I fled pell-mell head first and forward. So tell me how it happened, step by step. Eridin located us mere moments after we landed on Ard Skellig. Soon after, he and his riders surrounded us. I thought it was over, the end. Turned out Eridin had other plans. He produced the phylactery, uncorked it. A fog enveloped us, and Avalach began gasping for air. That's how Eridin cursed Avalach, triggered his transformation into Uma? Yes. He didn't wish to kill him. Humiliation. That's what he was after. But Avalark refused to succumb without a fight. He cast a spell that wrought havoc in the hunt's ranks. And in a full half of a forest on Ard Skellig. Yet it also gave us time to flee. Avalark opened a portal. I leapt in. He was supposed to follow right behind me, but something went awry. Impaired by the curse, he failed to reach the portal in time. We had agreed that if anything went wrong and we were separated, we would meet at his hideout in Venom. But you failed to meet there? Yes, we failed to. Once through the portal, instead of at Avalark's hideout, I landed right in the middle of Crookback Bog. I barely escaped the crones. And then there was the Baron. You know he took me hunting. I killed a wild boar with my sword. I heard. A coincidence, really. I had no desire to hunt that day, but it felt wrong to refuse. I'd taken nothing remotely resembling a hunting weapon. I simply hadn't intended to hunt. I was wandering through the forest, 
breathing deep the air. And then I heard a strange sound. Unsettling. Boar attacked you? Mm-hmm. Big as a bison, and lumbering straight at me. And all I had was my sword. I had to manage. Did just fine, judging by how the Baron's men remember it. Simple soldiers, the whole lot. But we got along splendidly. A shame I had to leave. Flee. But I didn't want to bring the wild hunt down on them. Apart from which, I knew by then the curse was progressing. So instead of looking for Avalach, I decided to find you and Yen. So how do you even meet a man like Horson Jr.? You and Yennefer were nowhere to be found. And I needed someone who could fix the phylactery. No ordinary craftsman would do. I needed a mage. One with extraordinary powers. Dandelion took it upon himself to help me. It was as if his honor depended on it. He arranged a meeting with a mage, but it proved a trap set by the temple guard. Hmm. Failed to mention that. <laughs> Probably didn't want to worry you. Later, we learned the guard did that sort of thing regularly, in the hope of nabbing anyone who collaborated with mages. We needed to find another way. That was clear. Then Dandelion said he knew a man who owned a piece of Novigrad, as he put it, could do more than others. He was certain to know someone who could fix the phylactery. Orson Jr. Mm-hmm. I suspected it might not be the best idea, but I was desperate. I had no choice. You suspected right. Orson was not the ideal partner in crime. Damned Simpleton got it in his head that we cheated him and kidnapped Dudu. Who you promptly freed only to have to flee to Temple Isle. Great idea. We hadn't planned it. Had no time to consider. We just bolted. I didn't even realize the guardsmen were driving me into a trap. Suddenly, there I was, and I knew I had to disappear. At once. And that's when you landed back in Skellige. The shore of Hindisfjall. The first pleasant place that came to mind. Hjalmar and I used to swim there. Wait, so... you actually wound up there by accident? I thought you and Avalok had arranged something. No, he simply sensed me use my power. Just as Eredin can sense where I am. Where I travel. In fact, Eredin arrived soon after I did. His ride is in tow. Once again, things happened quickly. Lofoten, the hunt's attack, my flight. And then... Dreams. Just dreams. What did you dream? I've had nothing but nightmares lately. Pretty horrible. Likewise, for the most part. In one... A monster grown from a stillborn child chased you. Ugh, that was horrible. I had a few nice dreams. For example, in one we sat around a fire, drinking good wine, and all around people danced and laughed. I like that one a lot better. Me too. But these dreams, and the others, ended in some tower. No matter what I'd dream, in the end, I would enter a tower. Recognize it? Know where it might be? I'm not sure. I don't think so. But there was something familiar about it. And something terrifying. The tower was stark and dead. But at the same time, I felt I had to enter it. Did you? No. Dreams all ended with me searching for the entrance. And the last time... Instead of the tower, I saw your grizzled face. If not for the scar over your eye, I'd have thought I was still dreaming. I was afraid you were dead. Found some dwarves here. Said they'd try to wake you, but you were cold as ice and you weren't breathing. And yet you came in. Who listens to dwarves these days? Speaking of which, they're probably getting antsy. We should go. Got a boat on the beach. Once we land, we'll head for Kaer Morin, on a horseback. Right. Conventional means of travel. They're just better. Though a portal would be quicker. And draw Eredin to us immediately. Rather not risk it. Besides, I hate portals. He's talking about how he hates portals. Alright, so after that lengthy conversation with Siri, we finally have her back. And we don't have a boat. 
And oh, okay. <laughs> Seems like this thing froze again. Ah, oh, Christ! Come on, load. Listen, we gotta think of a way to. Uh oh. Yeah, the portal probably probably would have been better anyway. Ah, now we're back in Kermorin. And we have to prepare for a fight. Yeah, so Siri is back in our midst, so now we don't have to look for her anymore. However, we're still not done yet. We have to do this, and then we got to do something else. I want to take care of some side quests. And then we'll be done for good. And I'm hoping that the same ending is the one that I have in this one. The same ending from the previous one. Because that ending was a good ending. Uh, you can have like 30 or so. I don't know. It's something crazy. Well, it seems like this game is degrading faster and faster. Welcome back, child. Siri! My, you've grown beautiful. No point standing around. Come on, time to greet the others. You've not changed a bit. Any of you. Just like I remembered. <laughs> That's because we don't age. Little sis. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Excuse me, Triz. <laughs> Here, everyone you asked for help. Avalox resting in the tower, still in pretty bad shape. No reason to do it out here. Come inside. Time short. Wild Hunt will be here soon. Glad to see you, Triss. Thank Yennefer. She's the one who invited me. There'll be time to talk later. We should confer now. Alrighty, with everybody in two. Yeah, you know the one. Now, like I said, if you didn't kill Kira Metz, she'd be here too, but I did. And the only reason why I did was so I didn't mess around behind Yen's back. But if you don't mind having it with her, you can convince her not to give away the plans, or take the plans. Zoltan! Yes. Bring all your tools with you? Thought to myself, a battle approaches. Blades will need honing. Plate will need some hammering. That sort of thing. 
Thought right. Thanks, Sultan. Plan to top that by brewing some more Mahakam and mix. Shake so volatile you need but glance at it to set it off like a flaming fart. Very useful during sieges. Zoltan, you are the gift that keeps on giving, man. Willing to craft something for me? Of course. Provided you have a diagram. Well, what I re- Wow, I've got a lot of gold. And I'm on level 27, which means I can put my armor on. Nice. See how this baby rides. I w- Ooh. Oh, I don't have the... Oh, he's an amateur, that's why. Okay, fuck it. Let's just go to repair. You can't buy it. Well, no, you can. Okay. All right. We'll talk later. Zoltan, what do you got to trade now? What is this? Okay, let's put that armor on. Oh, yeah. You're lovely. Ooh, that is fucking sweet, man. Let's put that baby on. Let's put that baby on. Get you back. That thing looks crazy. I certainly hope this gas will be well, I'm gonna... Oh yeah, let me level up. And now I can take care of all those side quests. That there. And I think I'm gonna save that last one for an alchemic upgrade. This shit is fucking crazy. Look at how hot that looks. I mean, not as hot as you, baby. Damn. Any progress? Just can't get this thing to fling a bolt. They'll sooner appoint me Hierarch of Novigrad. Esco. Unfortunately, we didn't get that many people. We got Vernon and Rausch. Glad to see you. Huh. Set out alone, Vest tracked me down. Insisted on coming. I ought to give you a hiding for not asking my help. But I took it all out in Roach along the way. Ah, some old friends. What's this horse son doing here? We need him. You might have forgotten what he did. I haven't. Gotta save Ciri, whatever the cost. And Letho's faced the hunt before. I don't question his abilities. I simply don't trust him. Letho won't betray us. <laughs> You're naive. Always have been. Usually I don't give a shit, but this time it could kill Vess and me both. Think this through before it's too late. Nah, I'm not saying all of that, motherfucker. Stay and help. But we don't want him at our backs. I forgot, Big Letho's back. Well, let's get our council going on here. So instead of Kira Metz, we got Letho. I guess that uh, that's an average trade-off. Kira, Kira did a little something. It's not like she didn't do anything. She did something for you. But that guy's a fucking monster. I don't know why you'd say no to that shit. Let's have our war council to council. Hi, everybody. Gather around. Let's have a burping contest, Brett. Get everybody together. Time to talk. By the way, in case you're wondering, Vernon Rausch doesn't trust Letho or Letho because in The Witcher 2, Assassin of Kings, Letho was the Assassin of Kings, and Vernon Rausch set up the hunt to tra track him down, which is why he and Geralt know each other so well. Thank you for coming. The Wild Hunt will be here soon. They're coming for Ciri. Want to take her? We'll stop them. 
How do you even know the hunt will show? They always know where I teleport to. And they move from place to place in an instant. So what's our plan? There aren't many of us, but I'd trust any of you with my life. Work together and we'll defeat the hunt. When they attack, Yen will dome the fortress with a magic shield. Hunt will be forced to land outside the walls. If they're dispersed out in the woods, we could hunt down small groups of riders. Got our first volunteer for the hunting party. I'm the second. Count me in, too. Always believed attack is the best defense. The hunt will try to penetrate into the fortress through navigator portals. I can do nothing against this kind of magic, so you'll need to find and close as many as you can while hunting in the woods. Lambert will make us die meridian bombs. Remember the formula? Of course. Excellent. Erden should work on the portals as well. I shall also give you each an amulet. Snap them in half and you'll become invisible, at least while you remain still or move slowly. Move abruptly, engage any foes, clash with them, and they will see you. Apart from that, they will be able to hear you and smell you. If you come across a large unit, do not attack. Signal Triss and she will provide support. I'll look for your signal. As soon as I see it, I'll rain fire on the forest. Ciri's most important in all of this. The hunt's after her, and we have to defend her at all costs. What do I do? Stay inside the keep. If they break through, come inside. We'll all converge to help you. Out of the question. I can look after myself. No one doubts that, child. But remember the most important moment when hunting a monster? Wait for an opportunity. After the council, I'll give you an amulet. If you use it, a ball of fire will land where you're standing, just in case. Remember, there's only a few of us. We have to help each other, work together. If anything goes wrong and the hunt puts us on the defensive, we pull back, make a stand at the gates of the fortress. The inner courtyard is our last line of defense. If we don't stop them there, we're doomed. What else do we have that we can use? Since you plan to ambush the hunt in the woods, I could dig some trapping pits, blue stripe style. Meaning? Deep as the dark abyss, bottoms bristling with sharpened stakes. I brought this Mahakaman mix. Flammable as bone dry saltpeter and plowing sticks to Erethan. We fill some barrels, stack them in a narrow passage, and fire them up at an opportune moment. You know we stand on a vast deposit of gas. If need be, I could open cracks in the earth, create explosions. I would need to prepare, though. There's a laboratory and the workshop. One thing to remember, we've got limited resources and even less time. We ought to decide what kind of weaponry will be most useful against the hunt. Absolutely. We need to assign one type of weaponry each to the lab and workshop. Sounds like stuff I'm gonna have to do. Who needs access to the lab? I started brewing some potions. I'd like to finish, if you don't mind. I could prepare more of those witcher's traps, but I'd need all the lab equipment. Oh, hurry, shit. I don't know. Um, we got traps. Always relied on potions. We should brew as many as possible. Let's talk about the workshop. Been wanting to fix that breach in the wall, but we'll need the same tools to clear the rubble from the armory. Rubble? Haven't you heard? Roof caved in a couple of years back. There's some excellent swords in there. Swords we could use. Filling in the breach seems just as important. They come through there, the siege will be over awfully quick. Yeah, I gotta patch up the wall on that one. Fixing the breach in the wall's a priority. We won't have time to do much else. Everything settled? Yep. Ready to go. S settled. We don't have much time, so let's get to work. Let's sum up. Yennefer will create a magic barrier to repel the main assault. That should push the opposing force into the woods, where Lambert, Geralt, and Letha will be waiting. They'll use Dimeridium to close the navigator's portals, stop as many warriors as possible from entering the fortress. Triss will be waiting for their signal, then give the riders hell. All others will repel any foes who make it inside the fortress walls. If anything goes wrong, we abandon the outer courtyard, pull back to the keep. Remember, 
Aridan can't get his hands on Ciri. That's most important. Let's look at the map of the fortress, figure out the details. So we have our plan, which means we're going to have to do some side stuff. Can't help feeling we've overlooked something important. Don't think about it. What's ready? Haven't had much time to prepare, so not much, honestly. Your potions. Yeah, give me those. Thanks. For everything. I'll saddle the horses. Come once you're ready to head into the woods. Taking leather with us. You know my opinion. That's some good shit. Alright, so I'll be back in a minute and we're gonna get this thing going on. And save Siri in just a second, so don't go away. <laughs> 